Hey, this is a Trendy Socialite. I hope all is well with you. It is Sunday, and I hope you had a great day in worship. Our day in worship was awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That's because God is awesome, isn't he? Anyway, today's video is a review of the line of products. Well, a few of the products, not the entire line, excuse me. A few of the products from Uncle Funky's Daughter. Um, I decided to purchase them at the World Natural Hair Show in Atlanta at the end of April um, because I've heard things about them over the years, couple of, last couple of years, and I decided I wanted to try them out. They had a wonderful like little mini store and display and everything, so that drew me to them and so I decided to try their products. I did purchase four products. I have a picture of them for you. I purchased the Extra Butter, Curly Magic, Thirsty Curls, and Glossy. So I'm going to do a review of all four of those products and I'm going to start with the Extra Butter. Say that this is a residue free Pro Shine Moisturizer. Hair cream as delectable as hot buttery biscuits without the cholesterol. <laughs> That's funny. Fortifies curls with natural shea butter and coconut oil. Great for styling comb outs, cornrows, ponytails, two strand twists, and afros. So, um, what I have done with the extra butters, I've used it um, on twist outs. I used it on a uh, twisting curl that I did, and I've also used, used it on um, the wash and go coil out um, as well. So I have used this. The consistency of it is very creamy. It is not tacky at all. It, um, I don't know if you can see that, but it's like really super creamy. Um, I don't believe in wasting product. <laughs> it sort of has a consistency of what it reminds me of it a little bit is like, um, I don't know. Never mind. Let me not say that. Um, I feel like the extra butter is really light. So for those of you that have fine or thin hair, um, I think extra butter is okay for you to try. Um, it is not heavy. I don't feel like it overly weighs your hair down or makes it um, really greasy. For those of us with thicker hair, I think it's a, um, it's a pretty good consistency for thicker hair meaning that if you use a moderate amount you'll get um, a really good um, blend of moisture with it um, the smell it, it has a very distinct well the all of the products that I tried have the same smell so um, if you don't like the smell of Uncle Funky's daughters I'm not really sure how they categorize the fragrance or the smell of it um, I think it is sort of a masculine -y scent, woodsy, um, a little bit of citrusy, it's a clean scent to me. Um, I can definitely tell that I have it on when I first put it on. It, it, it does dissipate after a while so it's not like super noticeable, it's not like overwhelming or overpowering or anything like that, but it, when you first put it on you do smell it. Um, it does give a decent amount of shine um, and you know generally I don't have anything really negative to say about this um, I think it's a it's a decent if you like the rest of the line then I would you know if you want to be brand loyal or brand consistent I would use this I probably uh, basically Based on the other products that I'm going to review, this may be my least favorite, even though I like it. So, um, I give this out of five stars, I give this like a three and a half. Um, for no other reason than I feel like I almost like Shea Moisture's Curl Enhancing Smoothie as much as I like this. Um, for the, It's very similar to me, how it works on my hair. So, that's the extra butter. Next... Curly Magic. Okay, Curly Magic, the first time that I used this was on a wash and go a couple of weeks ago. And I have to admit, the first time that I used it, I was probably heavy handed. 
hand it. Um, first, let me back up and tell you. This is, um, it says here, flex your super curl muscle naturally with our aloe-based firm hold curl enhancing gel. I probably should have read that before I used it, but... <laughs> Excuse me, it says curls become more defined and manageable with a nourished, brilliant shine. Delivers superior results of taming frizz, elongating curls, and adding moisture all in one powerful product. Now, I will say that I really do feel like the Curly Magic lives up to its name for my hair. And I saw it demonstrated on another woman's hair at the World Natural Hair Show, and it did the same thing for her hair. I think this product is very similar to, you know, us mixing gels together you know whether we make make our own flaxseed gel or mix aloe vera with eco styler or eco styler with some oil or something like that I think this is very similar to that it is definitely a um, what does it say firm hold it definitely is a firm hold the first time that I used it on um, my wash and go it, it my hair was a little crunchy and but I was really heavy-handed with it um, because I just didn't know what it was. I didn't know what it would do or how it would do on my hair. And I tend to overload my hair on products because my hair is so thick. It absorbs everything really quickly. So I thought I needed a lot of this. You do not need a lot of gel for this. Um, using a light to moderate hand is best for this. I used it on my twist, twist outs at the end of my hair. Perfect for that y'all if you ever have any problems with getting your ends to curl um, at the end of two strand twists use this I promise you it'll give you the hole that you need when your curl is dry in the morning it'll be perfect perfect I promise you I promise you <laughs> that um, so I've used it for my twist out I used it for the twist and curl that I did um, two weeks ago that I wore to the um, Eastern Carolina Natural Hair Meetup. And same thing. And when I rolled it, it just made it that much curlier and gave it an, enough hold. I would probably even recommend something like this. Um, I've noticed some naturals asking questions about uh, something for hold for roller sets. I would, I would consider trying this one time. Um, but be very, very light-handed with it. Because you don't want to get that crunch that you sometimes get if you use too much Lada Body or some other setting lotion like that. So I would try this definitely at the end. Um, maybe just a very, very pin size amount that you would just smooth on the strand right before you roll it. I would try this for that. That may give you um, the hold that you're looking for. And let's see what else did I use it on. Oh, duh. I used it on this coil out here, this wash and go coil out. Perfect for that as well. Um, it The directions say for you to cleanse and detangle hair, apply a palm sized dollop to sections of soaking wet hair, finger comb and smooth product through hair from root to end and style. Diffuse or allow to air dry. And that's exactly how you should use it. should definitely follow the instructions on this. I applied it in relatively small sections. When I did the first wash and, wash and go, I did apply it in like really small sections. And um, my curls popped for real. For this coil out, I mixed it with a little bit of um, Eco Styler gel actually. So it was like, I know you feel like it's it would be hard, but it's really not. It has hold, but it's not hard at all. And this is my second day um, coil out. Which, by the way, if you want to see the, um, the tutorial for this style, you can click here. And then if you want to see the tutorial for the maintenance on it, it'll be right above my head. Alright, so, <clears throat> um, and I will try to put these ingredients down below for you um, in the description box as well. Um, let's see what else about the curly magic. Um, I really, out of five stars, I give this four and a half. I really do. Um, I'm almost maybe 4.75. Like it's, re I really like this product in terms of giving some hold, especially to the ends of my hair. 
I would almost buy this solely for that purpose and it would last me a long time because you don't need much at all. So you could use this every time you style your hair and you could probably make this last for a really, really long time because you're just using a very, very minimal amount on the ends wherever you want to get a really strong defined curl. I think this would be great for um, those with the TWA, those that do coil outs um, or, or finger coils or anything like that, use this to define your hair and you'll be good to go for real. So I really, I don't even know what, <laughs> I really like the Uncle Funky's Daughter Curly Magic. Really, really like this. This was a good investment. Now, the follow-up product, they kind of go in tandem, I will say, to the Curly Magic is Thirsty Curls. And it says that um, Tame Your Curls Gone Wild with our lightweight revitalizing mist hydrates, conditions, and preserves moisture in frizzy fallen curls. Revives the bounce in curls without rewashing. Great for post-gym and second day curl refreshing. So, I actually use this. Um, you could use this as, as a daily moisture deal. I wouldn't use it like that because you know it's a little expensive to use it every day and to kind of wet your hair every day. I use it when I do, on the second day of my coil out. I spray it. I don't saturate my hair at all. I spray it just enough. It's barely damp. I spray it enough to get it uh, a little bit pliable and then I style from there. And you'll actually see that in the coil out maintenance video that I have and the link will be below as well. Um, and the directions say to spray onto wet or dry curls to moisturize and define. Excellent for day after curly magic curl stimulator use. So that's part of the reason why I, I bought this because I wanted to try those two in tandem. I do feel like um, this is a, a good product to have if you get the curly magic so the next day you can actually use it on your hair. I think it would be fine to use it lightly on twist outs the next day. Um, braid outs or anything of that nature to kind of just freshen up and it does it really does kind of freshen up your curls any flatness or lack of volume that's there this will kind of boost it up or it'll give you enough um, pliability as I said before to really be able to to work with your hair and to get it styled the way you want to so oh um, out of five stars I think I give this about a four and a half to um, I, I really like this product as well. I'm actually really overall generally pleased with this line, but I'll talk about that. And lastly, I'm glossy. They should try to work with Khalees to get the, um, the rights to that song <laughs> to be able to do a commercial just for this. And this is Unleash Your Supernatural Power to Combat Dull Dry Curls with our Hydrating Finishing Shine Mist unmatched frizz fighter that provides a visible shine nourishing natural oils strengthen and protect hair leaving it soft and bouncy with a brilliant high gloss finish let me tell you this right here this joint right here is worth it if you don't consider anything else in the line i would do this actually the first time that i used the glossy was for a protective style and when i sprayed it on my hair i was like oh M G, ah, uh, I mean shine like that. It is um, not. It's not uh, heavy. It doesn't weigh your hair down. I spray it every day, no matter what style I have. You know, a few pumps, and I just kind of mist all over, and I feel like my hair has a shine to it. It has a nice sheen without it looking greasy or weighed down. So I really highly recommend Glossy. If you're looking for something, I mean, and, and for a natural, we've all been looking for something to give us some shine, you know, from our relaxed days. We feel like our hair should be shiny because shininess is a sign of health, and it is to a degree, but, you know, with natural hair, shine is um, somewhat and sometimes elusive. So if you're looking for kind of that instant gratification when it comes to shine, try this glossy works great for protective styles or any sort of braided updo to give you the shine that you want for that works great for coil outs twist outs braid outs 
everything this is the last thing that I do before I walk out the door um, sometimes I actually do it as I'm styling so you know it kind, I kind of blend it in and it shines through so there's not like noticeable spray in my hair but you can mist your hair as you're walking out the door and you should be good to go for the glossy I give it five out of five stars I really do like this product a lot so uh, my general impressions of the entire line is that um, for the most part I think it is worth the money I probably would actually watch out for sales for them um, it'll definitely be something that I buy again next year at the World Natural Hair Show because they did have a deal like I think I got all of these four products for maybe 75 I believe 70 or 75 and um, I think the curly magic alone is 25 so as you can see it's basically I got one of them for free whatever would be the cheapest products for free um, in terms of rank I do love the glossy a lot um, a close close second would be the curly magic because I feel like you could use it like I said for um, quite a few different styles and you can make it a stretch for a while if you're really light-handed with it um, next after that is thirsty curls and then lastly the extra butter sister chick loves the extra butter which made me actually consider going to uncle funky's daughters to try their products so thank you sister chick for letting me know about that because I actually found a line that I sort of you know like generally I like a lot of the products in there I did not try the shampoo and conditioner because at the time when I was purchasing these products um, I was using Shea Moisture um, shampoo and I had Jane Carter shampoo so I really didn't want to overload myself self with things like that um, overall the four products that I have I would give them 4.75 out of 5 stars um, in terms of price it may be a little pricey for um, some of you out there so look out for sales if you go to the World Natural Hair Show next year, maybe consider trying the product that way because it'll be um, a little bit more economical for you to get to, to be able to try some things. Um, I do recommend maybe trying the Curly Magic if you have a hard time with getting your ends to curl the way that you do. Because like I said, if you invest the however, however much it is, I want to say maybe $25, but I'll put that price below. It'll last you a long time. So I think for a um, price per use I think it's economical for you I think that the same way with all of these products I've used them almost exclusively when I say almost exclusively I haven't washed my hair because I don't have Uncle Funky's daughters to wash my hair with so I've used another product to wash my hair and another leave-in but for styling purposes this is all I've used for three weeks um, I've tried all of my sort of staple hairstyles with it and they work and um, I I don't have anything oh I don't have anything negative to say about this line at all um, some of you may not be feeling the scent and I don't know if they have unscented options or not you can check their website for that but I do recommend Uncle Funky's daughter I think it's a really really good product line in terms of anything that may go into my my staples um, glossy definitely probably second the curly magic and I don't know if you can tell how much I've used but I'm kind of right here at the top of the la the brown label in terms of what I've used so as you can see I have a lot left to go in the curly magic so um, so yeah, that is my review of Uncle Funky's Daughter, um, the few products that I have. If you have any questions, please, please, please leave them below. Also, if you don't mind, do me a favor. Please rate the video, and if you wouldn't mind, subscribe to my channel. It is free. It is free. It doesn't cost you a dime to subscribe, and then you can get all of my videos as soon as I upload them, which I'm trying to upload several videos today. So, yeah. If you will do that for me I would greatly appreciate it and I hope this you found this review informative and that it will help you in your buying decisions all right take care and be blessed bye